This young man is 30 years of age. He is healthy, but has a long history of sinus pressure for which he had sinus surgery six years ago with a, an improvement, but not elimination of chronic bilateral maxillary pressure. He has some new symptoms, including a new onset of motion intolerance, a new onset of tinnitus in both ears with occasional crescendos of tinnitus, and episodes of dizziness, which is not really a spinning so much as a disorientation of space which comes over him um, for in brief periods. Um, he can tell us a little bit about some of his symptoms and what he's tried uh, to get rid of them. He's, uh, I think, worked with an allergist to see if he could improve uh, his allergy, and this has not been very successful in his case. Yes. So, I've, uh, as you said, I've always assumed, associated the uh, sinus pressure with uh, seasonal allergies, and so about three and a half years ago, started getting shots. Um, didn't really notice an improvement in that area. Uh, continued to feel the sinus pressure and actually saw increases in the frequency of um, uh, these crescendos in the tinnitus, as you say, and also this um, issue with kind of spatial orientation, which I call dizziness, which really is more feeling out of, <laughs> out of space or uh, not comfortable in the space I'm in. Um, and it's interestingly, uh, you have uh, no personal history of headache or migraine, but your father Yes. has migraine headache yes and has had uh, dizziness yes. associated with migraine headache yes yeah that's very interesting yes well i think that uh what you uh, have is a rather classic ent biased presentation of migraine symptoms but because the very strong and obvious headache is not present uh, it may not be uh, so obvious but we're going to use some migraine based treatments and see how you do. Great. Thank you very much. Thanks for speaking with Thank us. Thank you.